I told my mama I'm down with the crackies, but I'm sorry, I just pop one of them again. I told that bitch that you don't gotta worry, cause when this is over, I'm fucking your friend. I swear to God, I got fear on my heart, but I put that on me. Alright man, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Clark Paolo, aka YKP, whatever you want to call me. Hey man, today I'm here with another story time, but also kind of just like an explanation video. I already filmed the intro. Um, it was a minute and 30 long. I just started the video, but I realized my mic was off. So hopefully it's on now. Hopefully everything's good. But today, as you guys can see in the title, I'm finally talking about what happened to V5. And uh, I'm going to get straight into it, <clears throat> but this is basically how I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about what kind of happened and why I left and like what happened with the group breaking up at that time. Talk about how the group <clears throat> just stopped being a thing and then just talk about where everyone's at currently you feel me and before anyone watches this like before y'all go and like don't watch the whole video but then say something about the video i'm not talking any kind of shit about anyone that was in or out the group i fuck with all of them i wish all of them really the best yeah let's get into it so if y'all don't know or don't remember i was in a group called vision five man you know what i'm saying i'll still do it um dude one of the sickest things to ever be a part of like it was like a fucking boy band like we were a boy band but youtubers like you know what i'm saying like we were we were like a, a rap group but youtubers like and we were young like um when i joined the group it consisted of mari bands who's still my very close friend talked to him he just came over to the house the other day the homie Kayvon, foreign boy most of you guys should know him at least a lot of you guys definitely have seen him um like even if you don't recognize the name trio was in the group um, and I can't, bro, I was just talking to uh, my homie about this. I can't remember his name. It was, he had the curly hair and he was, we had, well, we had Big Mac too, but it was, um, Savano. That's his name, Savano. Wait, no, it's not Savano. Savano's my other homie. I'm trying to think of his name, bro. He was like Kayvon's homie and he was, he was in the group too. Um, but he didn't really do YouTube like that. Um, so the main, the main people that were doing, oh, and Jamil. How could I forget my, my homie J, uh, Jamil, Jay Wavy, shout out bro. We were all just a super tight YouTube group. Now, everyone kind of brought in their own people into the group. So I kind of came to the group because I got cool with Mil, with Jamil hella fast. And then I was already doing YouTube. And then um, I got cool with Mari after kicking it with them. I remember it was at Kayvon's party. That's the first time we kicked it. And because this, uh, this nigga had a, a like a Goodwill or a Ross t shirt and he tricked all of us into thinking it was um, Versace, that nigga Mari. Good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just always great with them. Like it was never anything bad. But I think the one thing that like we did was we, did, we didn't click up enough, like on a personal level. Like we tried to. I think we were just all in our own heads a little bit too much and we all kind of wanted to be our own person but then do it in a group thing. And it was just like, it was just like, I just think it was just, we were moving really fast as a group and it was like, God, we got to get on. Like, I don't know. It was just, it really wasn't anything like big. Like it was, there's nothing like, like big. It's just like, we were all doing our own thing and it was, in some people's eyes, it looked like it was like a competition and then it would be like just dead air, bro. That was really the thing that killed us, bro. Like it was just the dead air. Like we wouldn't talk about stuff. Like it sucked, bro. Cause we were all really good friends and we just wouldn't something would have one of us fucked up and we just wouldn't talk about it or like we would feel some type of way and then eventually we did talk about it but a lot of pressure had already been built up um specifically when i left bruh like it was nothing bad like it was just it just wasn't working anymore you know what i'm saying like it's just it like that those are the, the reason i appreciate that group so much is because it ended like you know what i'm saying because because i should say the way it ended that just allowed me to get so much maturity from, you know what I'm saying? Understand how to go through something with a, a team, collaborate, work, and then end it as m mature adults. And I just, I feel like I really appreciate that whole experience with them. Cause it just, it just made my young, my young teens just so much better. It was so raw, bro. But yeah, that's all, that's all that there really is when it comes to me leaving the group. To talk about why the group disbanded, like as a whole, I honestly don't know. I think, like Kayvon, Foreign Boy went somewhere. I don't know. We don't know. Like, bro, I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Um, but I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know why the group disbanded as a whole. I talked to to Zay recently. I guess I should just talk about where everyone's at right now. Well, first off, let me talk about Cash, cause um, Caleb, because he was hella cool, but we didn't really get to. We like we were cool. Like I used to call bro all the time and talk to him and stuff like that, but just never got to link up the right way I feel like and I just want to say that shout out to bro you know what I'm saying he did his thing with YouTube and he's he found his niche you know what I'm saying at least for right now you know what I'm saying he could always do whatever that whatever else he chooses to do in life but right now he's doing really good with uh what he's doing so shout out bro trio um same thing I never really got close enough to trio I never really got close to trio so it's like all I can do is respect from a distance you know what I'm saying bro bro did his thing I just wish I just wish he posted more bro because trio is funny like if he made them skits bro like Y'all gotta go watch Trio, bro. Trio really has some great content. I, I have to check, because me and Pat were watching his videos the other day, but I can't remember if he had posted recently or not. But Trio definitely makes some really good, high-quality videos. Yeah, that's them two. Them two. But the next three people I'm gonna talk about is, um, well, I guess Zay. 
you know what I'm saying? I just seen, um, I don't know if he was in the video, but the Tahoe video I seen. I actually talked to him about like the YouTube and stuff like that. And I just was like, I mean, it's personal. It's not, I mean, it's not personal, but they know what I, what I told him, but basically just told him, bro, he really got the key to the YouTube stuff if he wants to. So that would, that, that's where me and Zay are. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I wish, like I said, I wish the best for all these dudes, bro. Like I really feel like all of us could really still go crazy in our own respects on YouTube. Like we all really got the sauce. Like I, I don't know. I just, I think all of us were really the tightest young niggas to do it with this YouTube shit, especially from SAC. Like there's not anybody that was young enough. I mean, young like us, like and fucking with us for real. Yeah, that's Zay. Jamil, I haven't talked to meal and hella long um i feel like i seen him and i said what's up to him but like i haven't talked to him for real but i has been dropping music if y'all want to see me react to one of his songs let me know because i actually fuck with this music but um yeah I'll, hopefully i can put a clip or something but i probably will forget because i think i'm just gonna drop this story time but yeah jameel um shout out bro you know what i'm saying he's doing his thing right now i think he's just getting to it you know what i'm saying just living life and then making music i really hope his music blows up bro because he actually has like a really nice sound to come out of sack too like it's like a really nice underground trap sound but it's like Bro, I don't know how to explain it. It's a really good sound. I fuck with it. And, um, but yeah, so Jamil did that. I just wish, you know what I'm saying, maybe he stuck on his YouTube stuff more. But the thing is, you guys, like, it's not forever. Like, some people don't want to do it forever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a lot to, to keep on, you know what I'm saying? And, and it kind of it kind of beats you up. Yeah, like, it's just, it's you know what I'm saying? It's not for everyone. Who's to say they won't all come back and do it later? Like, that's it's not like just because they're not doing it right now doesn't mean they ever won't, you know what I'm saying? They might have something planned in the books. Like, you never know. But, um... Next is uh, Kayvon. Well, actually, I'll do I'll do Mari next because Kayvon is kind of like it's short. So, but Mari, um, Mari, same thing, just getting to it, living life. But I wish he would freaking post more YouTube videos. But I know life be getting like, you know, what I'm saying life, bro. You just like life really is life. Like, and, and it's not even that it's like tough or anything. It's just like, bro, you want to sit back and enjoy some things. And it's like, is it really? Do I want to sit here and keep doing these things that I know these people want and and not really enjoy it, or give them content that I enjoy and really have to go through that grind again to get new viewers to enjoy what I'm now making because these people don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I respect that like 100. percent And like I said, bro, these guys could all re pick up the camera and just go crazy. Like y'all, y'all would have no chance fucking with them on YouTube. I promise you. And then. But yeah, and Mari is still my bro. He just came over and checked out the apartment the other day. And if you guys want the apartment tour, leave it down below in the comments. But last person, Foreign Boy. Honestly, bro, like, no clue. No clue. I mean, maybe, like, I talked to Zay, and I talked to Mari about it. Like, we just talked about it. Like, it came up in conversation. Both of them said that they haven't heard a word, but... Who knows, maybe he's really just tucked off and doing his thing and telling people to, you know what I'm saying, tell him to keep him low-key or something like that. I don't know. I hope he's really in hibernation just getting ready to come out with something crazy or something like that, bro. But um, on the flip side, bro, came on. I, I don't know if you'll ever even see this, but if, bro, if, you, if you're going through something, something like that, bro, you a strong dude, bro, so... Just big ups to you, bro. I just, cause I don't, I don't want to get too deep into it. Cause what if this nigga's just chilling like with a million dollars, just cause he's been busting it down in stocks, not caring about YouTube. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm not gonna wish the the worst on the nigga. I, I honestly think the nigga just played his cards right and got up out of here. Um, but yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed me talking about what happened to V5 finally, um, leave a comment down below. Go subscribe to all the dudes that I just talked about. Hopefully, I remember to put their links down below. Shout out to all of y'all. You know what I'm saying. Um, uh, the other two I could mention, I can't remember bro's name, and then Big Mac SSE. I never really got close to them enough to, to even kind of talk to them. They didn't really do a lot with the YouTube stuff, and there's other guys that were in the group too. But yeah, bro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.